What if a soldier had a single eye that never ever closed? This is real. Right now, a new kind of sight is changing how wars are fought. It gives soldiers the power to see everything, all at once, day or night. It keeps them safe. And it comes from a country that knows a lot about defense. Israel. Yes, you heard it right. Israel. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Today, we're going deep into one of the most important tools in modern combat. It's not a gun or a tank. It's a system of seeing. And it might just be the biggest advantage an army can have. Think about a street in a city at night. It's dark. Windows are broken. An enemy could be hiding anywhere. Behind a wall. Inside a building. On a roof. For a soldier moving through that street, every shadow is a threat. Every corner is a danger. How do you see what you can't see? For a long time, armies used cameras and night vision. These tools help, but they have limits. A camera only looks one way. Night vision makes things green, but can't see through smoke or fog. A soldier still has to look, decide, and risk their life. Israel faced this problem every day. Israel is a small country with enemies on its borders. It has to protect its people with smart technology, not just more soldiers. Israeli engineers asked a simple, powerful question. How can we give our soldiers the gift of total sight? How can we let them see the whole battlefield without exposing them to danger? The answer wasn't just a better camera. It was a whole new way of thinking. They didn't want one picture. They wanted complete understanding. They started building a system. It's a small, tough unit packed with different eyes. One eye sees heat, like a person's body warmth. Another sees in total darkness. Another is a super sharp regular camera. They put all these eyes together into one device. But putting eyes together was just the first step. A bigger problem was the information. If you have six cameras showing six different views, how does one soldier make sense of it all? It's too much. They would be overwhelmed. So the Israeli engineers added a brain, an artificial intelligence brain. This AI doesn't get tired. It doesn't get distracted. It watches all the video feeds all the time. It is programmed to look for what Matt is. Is something moving in a strange way? Is that heat signature hiding behind a wall? Is that a person or just a dog? The system learns what is normal for a scene, like blowing leaves or a swinging door, and ignores it. Then it highlights what is not normal. It puts a bright box around a potential threat and says, look here. This changes everything. Now the human soldier is not a camera operator. They are a decision maker. The machine does the exhausting job of watching. The human does the critical job of thinking. This combination, many eyes plus an AI brain, is what makes this Israeli system so powerful. It is like giving a soldier a superpower. They can stand in one safe spot and see in every direction at once. They can see through darkness, through smoke, and even get hints of what's behind thin walls because of heat. They have a guardian angel made of metal and code. Let's talk about how it's built. It is made to be tough. War is not clean or gentle. This device can be mounted on a tank driving over rocky ground. It can be on an armored vehicle in a sandstorm. It can sit on a fence post in the freezing cold for months. Israel designed it to work in the hardest places on Earth because those are the places it is needed. It is also modular. That's a fancy word for you can put it anywhere. You can stick it on the top of a jeep. You can fix it to a watchtower on a border. You can even put it on a drone flying over a field. The same core system works everywhere. This is a key part of Israeli defense thinking. Be flexible, be adaptable. Now, one of these units is a huge help to a squad of soldiers, but the real magic happens when you connect them. Imagine not just one soldier with this super sight, but an entire army. This is where Israel's system becomes truly revolutionary. Every unit can talk to each other. They connect to drones in the sky. They connect to command centers miles away. They connect to the screens inside every other vehicle in the unit. What does this create? It creates a living web of sight, a living map of the battlefield. Here is how it works in a real situation. Let's say a unit is guarding a long border. One sensor, sitting on a pole, sees a flicker of movement at 3 in the morning. The AI checks it. It's not an animal. The movement is towards the fence. Instantly, an alert pops up on a soldier's screen in a warm command center. 
At the same time, the system can wake up a nearby drone and tell it, go look at these coordinates. The drone flies over and sends back a live video feed. Now, the commander has eyes on the threat without ever sending a single soldier into the dark. They can see how many people there are, what they're carrying, and where they're going. The commander can then make a perfect decision. Send a patrol, launch a non-lethal warning, or just watch. This connected web means there are no surprises. An enemy cannot sneak up. They are seen at the moment they come into range of any sensor in the entire network. Everyone on the friendly side shares the same picture. The tank crew, the infantry squad, the commander, they all see the same live view. They are all synchronized. This makes an army incredibly fast and coordinated. In a city fight, this is even more critical. Cities are a maze of hiding spots. A fighter can shoot from a window and then run inside a building, disappearing. With normal tools, it's like a deadly game of hide-and-seek. But with this Israeli system, it's different. A sensor on a vehicle at the street entrance is watching. It sees the shooter in the window. Even after the shooter ducks inside, the thermal sensor might still see their heat signature moving through the building. The system can track that blur of heat. It can predict which door they might come out of. It can alert another squad waiting around the corner. Threat moving toward your position from the east. This turns the tables completely. The hunters become the hunted. The side with this technology controls the city. They own the geometry of the fight. This saves lives, not just the soldiers' lives, but also innocent civilians, because the soldiers can be more precise. They don't have to spray bullets into a building. They know where the threat is. So what does all this mean for the future? It means that warfare is changing. It is less about who has the biggest bomb and more about who has the best information. Seeing first means you can strike first, or better yet, stop the fight before it even starts. Israel understands this better than almost anyone. The work on this system never stops. Israeli engineers are already planning the next versions. What comes next? An AI that doesn't just see a threat, but predicts what a threat will do. Is that person pacing near a fence just nervous, or are they about to place an explosive? The AI will learn from thousands of past incidents and make a guess. They're also making the units smaller. Soon, maybe every soldier will have a tiny version on their helmet, giving them personal 360 vision. They're connecting it to more robots, unmanned ground vehicles that can scout ahead, all seeing and thinking together. This is the path, a battlefield that is fully aware, a blanket of intelligent sight that covers everything. For the soldiers underneath that blanket, it means protection, it means confidence, it means going home alive. This technology from Israel is more than just another piece of military gear. It is a shield. It is a guardian. It takes the oldest, simplest advantage in war, the high ground, and gives it to everyone, everywhere. It turns light and heat into knowledge, and knowledge is the ultimate weapon. It proves that in today's world, the smartest defense is a defense that sees everything. It's not about being stronger, it's about being wiser. It's about having the clarity to make the right choice when every second counts. That's the power of an eye that never blinks. If you found this look at real-world defense tech fascinating, please help us out here at War Tech Zone. Hit the like button, it really supports our channel to make more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell so you never miss a breakdown of the gear that's shaping global security. Let us know in the comments below, what other military technology should we explore next? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.